Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I was thinking I have gone from one extreme to the other today because last week I didn't have hardly anything to show you and this week I have so much to show you and tell you about. So please try to hang with me. I'm going to do hair, supplement, bathing suits, shoes, fragrance, skincare, just all over the place. I'm going to start off with jewelry today because I have an exciting little promo going on. Starting today through May 31st, Jenny Bird is offering a one-time 20% off code for not only my favorites, there's going to be like a page that I'm going to list below and it's going to have my favorites that I chose to put on there, but you can use it on the entire website. She's got some really cool new things out, like anklets and things that sometimes you don't see me wear. So I wanted to start with my Jenny Bird jewelry and tell you about that special because if you've wanted anything, including this, this has been out of stock for so long. It's the Vera chain that is the big chain that has the heart on it. And I love it because it's like such a statement and it's kind of tough looking, but with the heart, it just makes it unique. So this is one of the things that you could use for your 20% off. Like this is from the new collection and her bangles, even the big ones like this, you can gently squeeze and make it so that they're a little bit smaller if your wrist is small. But look at how that these have the hearts on the edge. She's real good at stuff like that. Just adding the small little details. Today I'm wearing the Evil Eye like double ring. And then the choker that goes with it. This is a little Figaro chain. I can't remember the name. And then I wore this because it kind of goes with this. And the earrings I chose are these because these actually are like a heart too when you turn them to the side. But these earrings just to me are unique because they give a lot of show but they're very light, easy to wear, and just different to so when my hair's down. If you've been wanting to try some of Jenny's jewelry, now would be the perfect time. So I will put all the information and the link below. The next thing I want to show you are some pieces that I ordered from Vive. Remember a couple weeks ago, I had ordered some things and I just love them so much. I love this eye palette. Where did I put it? It's, under, it's underneath all the bathing suits over here. This is the eye palette. It is just gorgeous. Today I have on this color, these two, this, and this. The cozy is what gives it that warmth. If I didn't use that, I would have used this. But I love this palette so much. And so I decided to order one of her blushes. This one is, let me take this little tag off. This one is Cherub. And it's what I've got on today, along with something else that's new. So this is the color that you see. It's not necessarily the glow. I believe it's pretty matte, but I put it over something else that I'm going to show you. You know how some blushes like this you are almost scared to use? It wasn't that bad. I just used, I'll show you the brush I used in a minute, but I just used the same brush I used for basically the rest of my makeup, and I think it applied nicely. So that, I think it's pretty. It's not, like I would not say, oh, you've got to have it. I would much rather see you get the eye palette than that. Then, remember when I told you that I had ordered two lipsticks and I had ordered Treasure and another one. I don't know if it's still up here. And I think I threw away the actual lipstick when I was cleaning up all of my boxes. I had the box to it, but I could never find the lipstick. So I ordered it again. That's really why I placed another order. Many of you told me that your favorite lip combo was her Velvet Sands and her Treasure. And that is what I have on today. And I mean, if that isn't a Jamie Genevieve lip combo, there never was one. I mean, there's that's just her combo all the way. Now, I don't think it looks good on me. I don't know what it is. I feel like it washes me out, but I wanted to show it to you because I know a lot of people like this. So I am going to switch to the lip liner that I am working on and then my favorite, San Diego, and I'll be right back. 
recipe and I just added I just wiped it off with tissue and just added that right over it so there's still like some of that in there this week look what I got the Goss Edit Makeup Brush Set. And these brushes, I mean, not only are they just beautiful. Look at the bamboo, black bamboo handles. But you guys know how much I love like this brush. I haven't used these because I've got the other ones, the wood ones, these are in the black. And just look at that pencil brush, the detail. This is the perfect brush for when you come off of your wing in that little accent color. Just beautiful, beautiful. So I am going to link his video down below because he will explain why he created each one and I will use these in an upcoming tutorial. So soft and there's just something about the shape of these, the way he has them cut that just really make them special. So wonderful another good job by wayne goss okay, let's get to my makeup and what i use today because i chose not to use any concealer or any the laura mercier powder or anything under my eyes and i when i watch this video back i'm probably going to be upset with myself because i know that i would like it better if i did but i wanted to be able to show you exactly what this did on its own so many of you after my beach makeup tutorial on monday you know we kind of we always talk in the comments about how we're so upset that laura mercier discontinued her mineral powder and i mentioned that my other two favorites are jane iredell and bare minerals and many of you said that you could not wear the bare minerals that it made your face itch i just had a lot of questions about the jane iredell and I could not find, I, I know I had several colors, but I think I must have given them away when that will happen again. When we move, I will probably get rid of a lot of stuff. But I went yesterday and I went to like a local hair salon that sells Jane Iredell because I wanted to look at all the different colors. And the one I chose, I think is a good one. It's called Golden Glow. Now, Loose is always gonna give you more coverage than the pressed. I love the pressed. I used to love using the pressed classic beige, but I like it more like over more of a medium coverage to give just the glow and the extra coverage. But if I am depending on this for most of my coverage, I like the loose. And so when I opened this, I was pleasantly surprised. I took a picture and I'll put it up here of this in the middle of classic beige and rich vanilla and you will see that it's right in those tones like I said this one is golden glow the amazing base now when I was there I could not I couldn't help myself and I ended up getting the moon glow and those of you that have been with me since the very bitter beginning probably remember when I used to use Jane Iredell. I mean, I used, I think I used almost everything from Jane Iredell. I repurchased this and this is what I have on today. So this is the only bronzer, highlight, anything I have on my face with this. And I bought something else, here it is, that my mom and I both used to wear this. It's the Liquid Minerals from Jane Iredell. You've probably seen it before because it's really weird. It's like these little balls of pigment mixed with hyaluronic acid. And so right when I got this out this morning, I remembered they have this like flocked sponge that I used to use this with because you really, you can't do it with your hands because you can't crush all the different color balls and get it evenly. So I used just my Colleen Rothschild sponge. And when I was putting it on, I was thinking, I don't know, I was disappointed because it is just a light to medium coverage, but it's great, like the lady that was helping me said, it's great for mature skin because it's so moisturizing. I mean, it's just a lot of hyaluronic acid. So by the time I got through putting it on my face though, I was pleasantly surprised at the coverage. It is a little bit too light, but I never planned on wearing it by itself. So I put this on, then I put the minerals on, 
And the brush I used was the brush out of my Rodial Edit Kit, the, this multitasking brush. You can use this brush for everything. I used it for the loose powder. Then I used it for the Moon Glow. Then I used it for the blush. And so many of you have written me that you love this. And I don't know how many are left, but there was only a set amount. And I'm sure that they're almost sold out. And I did ask about Canada and UK and everything. And they just wanted to keep it US because, because it's a UK brand. They just kind of want to get it into the US and wanted to kind of bring it just to the US. So anyway, loving my little kit there. I love the brush in it. You will too. And it's $95 and it's like a $300, $297 or $295 worth of products. Back to Jane Iredell. So I have this on and it's satin. There were some that were darker and there were some that were more golden. But I knew I was going to want to go over it with this. So tell me what you think. I do think it's very, 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 very glowy and pretty. It's not as much coverage like as far as under my eyes and everything. But I think for a summer day, or it's spring, but it feels like summer here, I think it's gonna be great. So, and you know, Jane Iredell has the SPF 2, SPF 20. So now on to hair. One of my friends, Corey, that works at a beauty supply, she sent me a box of goodies. She spoils Brooke and I. She gets a lot of stuff gratis and then she also buys us some things to try and she loves for me to use things and then give her my honest review and I do. So she sent me these two products that just came out from Joyco. One of them is Defy Damage Invincible Frizz Fighting Bond Protector. It's a heat protectant. And then the next one is Humidity Blocker. And when I saw this I was like, oh, I mean, to me, and I don't, I still don't know in the heat of the true humidity if this will work. But so I've been spraying my hair with this before, you know, each section before. Okay, when I say each section, I mean I spray the bottom section before I spray my hair, and then when I let the top, I spray it. But I don't spray each individual section. But when I spray it, I brush it through. And then the humidity blocker, I spray after I get through curling the bottom layer of my hair, I sprayed it. And then when I did the top of my hair, I sprayed it. And I did this Monday night was the first time I used it. And then you guys, my Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday, I keep wanting to call it Women's Wednesday. So if I say that, it'll just be both. But my Wednesday video, you saw my hair. My hair was curled until yesterday and it I thought it looked good for a solid three days of being out in the sun, the humidity, at the pool, everything. So I don't want to tell you just like run out and get this. Let me use it some more. But if you're just wanting to try something, I think it's worth a try. Many of you told me things to order from Amazon that smell just like New West. So I did. I ordered this one, which is the Perfume Body Oil. And they added in a little hand lotion. So when I got it, I used a little bit of the hand lotion. And it, you're right, it smells just like New West. I mean, there's really no difference to me. And then this I got yesterday, which is the, it's a weird name. It's called New, New Blessed, N-O-O-B-L-E-S-T. And I might be pronouncing that wrong, but I thought they were kind of going off of New West. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, just like it. Just like it, just like it. So either one of these, I don't know if you wanna try the oil and the lotion, but this is great and it's the spray. I'm actually kind of excited about that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Okay, and then this is something I've been doing you know, when I first got the Modere products, Christina sent me a few things, but because of my you know, tummy issues and just sensitive stomach, I have been trying one thing at a time. So the first thing I tried were the Trey Biotics, the little beads that I showed you that I take in the mornings. And I could tell that I liked those right away. The prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. So I've been taking that and I was taking the liquid collagen. 
and love that too. That's the one that it tastes like tang, like an intense tang or whatever. Then she sent me this too, and she was saying that she was really interested to see what John thought about this, because this is the trim. And I think besides the collagen, this might be their most popular product. It is to inhibit fat storage, improve muscle tone, and restore youthful skin. So I got my nerve up and I tried it. I know what made me try it. One of you guys told me to try this, because you take a tablespoon of this in that same little measuring cup and to put this in it and it tastes just like a Nestle Crunch Bar and it does. It tastes so good, it almost scares me. I don't wanna, you know, like start craving chocolate or anything, but it's very satisfying. This is kind of thick. I keep it in the refrigerator. I wish I would have waited to show you, but I'll put a picture in here of what I do. I kind of just pour like half of the tablespoon and then I put like half of the little scoop of beads. Oh, my scooper's downstairs. And then I put a little bit more of this and then put the beads on top. And it's not, it's more like, what am I, what's the consistency? It's not like a liquid like you drink. It would be like a, almost like an ice cream or something like that. Just a smooth, thicker consistency. But if you don't like chocolate, it comes in lots of flavors, like all kinds. I know it comes in like vanilla and seems like I saw pineapple or something like that. So I'm gonna try it and see if my muscles start bulging out. But it does have three carbs. So if you are at a stage where you are being very, very strict on carbs, it does have three carbs. It has linoleic acid. It has liquid biocell which is one of the products that's in the collagen. It has the sternal cartilage extract providing hydrolyzed collagen, type two peptides, um, hyaluronic acid, and um, it does have cocoa, because this is the chocolate one. Shake well, take one tablespoon directly by mouth, preferably in the morning. So I have been loving this, what a treat, and still loving this one too. Okay, another update, the Paula's Choice Retinol Body Treatment. I have been using this and then I've been using the Neutrogena, but when I told you guys about this in my Wednesday before last video, so many people said, you can't use that in the summer. This will make my skin worse because it'll make it burn worse, all of that kind of stuff. So yesterday I went to the dermatologist and I talked to her about this and what does she recommend as far as retinol body creams. And she says that she tells a lot of her patients just to mix their Retin-A or their Retinol in with their body lotions. And she said that it's fine for me to use this in the summer. She said, just use it at night. She said those studies that showed people getting more sun or burnt or anything like that while they were using this is because they are the people that this irritates their skin. So if this irritates your skin, she said, just like if you were to put a glycolic lotion on and it irritated your skin, then when you went out in the sun, it would probably burn it and irritate it more. So she told me just to use this at night and I should be fine. So, and I do use SPF all over my body. Okay, these I've showed you so many times before. I have them in black and I have them in the pink version, but the Haviana flip-flops with the wedge. I have a very, very, very good suspicion that whatever they have left of these is all that they will ever have because I've never been able to find them. Just the black ones. Sorry, I've got a, I'm sure, yes, a little cat hair in my mouth. I love these so much. I love these to wear them to the pool because they give you a heel, but they're not too, not that I care, but you know what I mean. They just, they're my favorite flip-flops. And so I went ahead and bought the blue ones. My point being, if you want those, you need to get them because they will be gone. Okay, here we go with my bikini escapade. I have tried so many Amazon bikinis. You remember, I, I got several of them. I've actually had better luck with my Walmart bikinis. Those actually fit better. I think that Zaful, Z-A-F-U-L, that I get a lot from Amazon, and a lot of those that I've got from Amazon, if I were a young girl, 
and had a young girl body, I think they would be fine. But they are not, they're usually too skimpy and just even if I get the medium, they don't fit. If I were to get the large, they wouldn't fit. So I have broken down and gotten some better made but more expensive bathing suits. But I can already tell it's definitely going to pay off. Okay, the first one, I went to Dillard's. And, but this one they've got, I only get below. I think they've, I think they've got it online. But this is the Becca. And then it ties like that in the back. Fits so nicely. Okay, anything I have a picture of, I'll put in here. Just fits so great. And then the bottoms, like this, just, I mean, when you have it on, you're not pulling, tugging, pulling out, pulling up worried is just beautiful so i also got this bottom when which is becca and i get the mediums and like this one was 64 dollars, which is so crazy but if you feel good in it and you look good in it and it you know all the other stuff it lasts then it's probably worth it but i loved this see how it's got like the ribbed fabric and so i did order they didn't have the top there so I ordered it. I think I ordered it from Nordstrom. So I will show it to you. Or if you follow me on Instagram, I post my outfit of the day every day. Whether it's fancy, whether it's casual, or whether it's a bikini. That way, every day I post my outfit. So if you want to see any of these, they'll, they'll be on there. And then this is another Becca bottom that I got that is... It's just a really nice thick. The Good American bottoms that I have, they're nice too. So those. And then this. Remember when I bought this top, which is the L Space. It is so pretty. So pretty. I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought the bottoms. And these are different for me because they are high cut. But see, okay, they're so cool. Because see how they have the sheer right there? But they're high cut, like up to the belly button too. So I'll put some pictures. I wore these yesterday. We went to the pool. And oh, I felt like I could just run, like put tennis shoes on and run in this. It just fit so good. Even though it's still kind of skimpy on the butt, there's just something about it. It just fits good. The fabric just clings to you. This doesn't, see how this isn't like too binding and making your fat pop over or anything and then I cut the tag out of this but these are both mediums and then I got this one which is Trina Turk wow they did not have a lot of these this print or these bathing suits at Dillard's but I want some more because their prints are beautiful or her prints it reminds me of who is it that um, did those rompers that was so pretty Kim something it was the all the prints are just gorgeous so this one is kind of like a hipster has that little gathered part on the side but just gorgeous this is the one I wore to the beach now this one may end up being a comedy it will probably be in, end up being one of Brooke's most expensive bathing suits but so many of you have told me I have to try Hunza G is that what it is I got this little, I got it from Netta Porter. I think that's the brand. But the kicker is they're one, yeah, Hunza G. They're one size fits all. What do you guys think? <laughs> I do, I will say I've got a 50% hopeful attitude because it is very, very, here, I'll take this out. I'm not going to send it back. If it doesn't fit me, I'll just let Brooke have it but it does have a lot of give and it has a lot of room to stretch out and the top I got I'm really matter of fact I'll wear this next when, the next time we go but look at the little top but you know it stretches out and it stretches out I think that is their unique concept is that you know it does stretch out so much so if you are curious, follow me on Instagram and I will show you when I wear that. Oh my goodness, I think we're done. I was slightly panicked that I might have to do a two-parter, but 
the worst thing that will happen is I might be late uploading this because I have to edit and list everything. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then I will finally let you go. Okay, do you guys remember this dress from Zara? It is, oh, it is so pretty, but it is not easy to wear because I think it might be just the slightest bit too big for me. And so without a belt, it will just not stay up. So I had to put a belt on with it. It's long, and so I just put my Valentino Rock Stud wedges on with it because I didn't want to, I don't know, I felt like these match well and I didn't want to wear anything that wasn't comfortable. And put my nails back on. I feel like I'm myself again. And I've already shown you my jewelry and I am smelling so New West. I am so curious about the lasting power of this because it is so, it's identical. It's identical. So thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget about my rodeal edit. Don't forget about the Jenny Bird special. And I have a video coming up this weekend. And so I will see you this weekend. Bye-bye.